Hi there, Cuppy Kate here, and welcome to another speed paint. So this speed paint is of Mikhail and Kirby for our new Wolf Quest series starting a little later today, Forged in Tragedy. That name was actually heavily suggested by my husband because I wasn't really sure what to call it. And he said, well, Mikhail at this point in his life believes that he is only heir because both of his brothers died. He has almost had to force himself to be a great leader, even though he had the capabilities always of being that leader. He's pushed himself to be that out of necessity for the fact that he's the only one left. And so thusly, he was forged by the tragedy of his brother's death. And that is where the name of our series comes from. As I was sketching this, I wanted to portray a look of sadness in Mikhail's face because even though he wanted the competition with Aspen after Aspen's convincing, uh, he didn't want to win like this. This wasn't how he wanted this to happen. And even though he has Kirby, a litter already, uh, growing and becoming strong, beautiful adults, and he sees that happening, and another litter in Kirby's belly in this picture, he feels gravely alone, gravely alone, knowing that his brothers are gone. And I tried desperately to portray that. I hope I did. <laughs> it was hard at first when I did the sketch. I was like, oh my gosh, his face looks so derpy. He looks more like a wolf dog, which made me laugh because technically he is a wolf dog if you go by uh, Kiba being a husky. But after adjusting quite a bit during the line art and just moving things around, I feel like I was able to give him more wolf, less dog <laughs> towards the end, but... Uh, I still look at his face and I'm like, hmm, I feel like I could have done better. But once I put the color in, I really, really saw it come to life. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last video or not. So if I did, I apologize. Uh, but I wanted to talk about the color of the background, the dirty pink. I actually got that from Knight from our Discord. Uh, she's a great friend and an amazing artist. I noticed anytime she would post a picture of any of her art, it would have this pinkish background and it's so much easier on the eyes. So I highly suggest to any of you that are artists out there and you're working in any kind of art program to color the background of your work with something dull and a little bit darker. Not too dark where you can't see what you're working on, but dark enough that it eases your eyes from the harsh, harsh white of either a transparent background or a white canvas. So Clip Studio actually just recently added the color mixing tab on the side and you see me use it in this part, trying to find just the right color for Mikhail's eyes, which in my reference, they looked very brown, but I know that they're a pretty dark amber. It was one of the most common things between the three brothers. They all have that same fiery amber eye color. So I wanted to try and mix some colors together until I could find just the right hue. And I think I accomplished that pretty well by a dark fiery orange. I truly love it. And I actually ended up using it for Kirby's eyes as well because hers are also a amber color in the reference I used. I thought that was very sweet. And uh, if any of their pups end up without the amber colored eyes, I'm going to wonder what recessive gene is sticking between those two. It was at this point in the process that I had started to realize that Kirby had a pretty significant uh, slash scar across her face, which is why it's so important to have a reference if you're ever going to use characters from a game or something, because I would have easily forgotten that had I not pulled up the reference picture I had. And it kind of made me wonder, did we ever talk about how she got that scar? 
it looks very much like a mountain lion scratch. I think it's too big to be a bear. If a bear had clawed her across the face, I don't think she would have a face, to be honest. So I think that that may have come from a mountain lion or possibly a bobcat, since bobcats are pretty common in Yellowstone. It was here that I also started the shading process, which is always fun to me. You start to see just based off the very first shading layer, the art come to life and have depth just through that one bit of shading. But I end up doing three or four layers of shading, one or two layers of highlights, and then even a layer of additional details that come over the final product such as a uh, splashing of gray over fur or even some white flecks here and there. I will add that at the very end and it always makes it real. As I'm watching this back and we had just gotten through talking about Kirby's scars, I am realizing that I completely forgot to add the nicks and scars in Mikhail's ears. It was something that wasn't there in the first season because he didn't really have any damage or scars to him because he was fresh from his mom and dad's safety, so he didn't have those. I added those to his model later when they added the customization pack in Wolf Quest because he had had such a rough time in his first litter. I thought it would make sense if he might have a few tears in his ears. And yeah, I just completely forgot when I was doing this piece, but we could just say this picture was done before he got them. Perhaps he got them that winter or something. <laughs> Um, but you know, sometimes things like that happen in art and I don't want to beat myself up because I was really proud of this piece when I was done and it was just one little, one little or two, it might have been two ear nicks that I forgot. I absolutely loved adding the white into Mikhail's coat. So his coat is actually called the Casanova coat, which I believe is based off of a wolf that ended up bringing the druid pack essentially back from the dead and he was called that because he was uh very much a uh, a ladies man a ladies wolf man <laughs> uh he had he had all the ladies after him and so they named him casanova but this was his coat and this is also the coat that bane has so mikhail is essentially the spitting image of his father so when Mikhail and Teo do eventually meet, I imagine that Teo is going to not accept Mikhail right away because he looks exactly like their father did. And as a pup, you know, wolf pups, they look very different as puppies than they do as adults. They don't grow into their coat until much later. Well, Teo only knew Mikhail as a pup, and so when he sees Mikhail for the first time, I imagine he's gonna think, is that my dad? And so it's going to give him some really hard feelings that he's gonna have to work through. And he may not be as accepting of Mikhail in the beginning as Mikhail might hope, especially the fact that he will find out that his brother is still alive.
You can really see the long and very draining process of shading. <laughs> I don't even know if I do it that effectively, but it does take time, especially when you want to add that depth. But now we're getting into my favorite part, which is the eyes. I absolutely love eyes. I think that they are the heart of any piece that has a character in it. And of course, I decided to add tears. I wanted Mikhail, like I said from the beginning, to appear sad, heartbroken at the loss of his brothers, and I thought the tears were a nice touch. It was something that I actually did in Charm's piece, even though Charm looks angry like she wants to watch the world burn. <laughs> it was important to have the tear there to know that even though she was ready to take on the world and fight to get vengeance for her lost mate and her pops, she was grieved at their loss. Absolutely grieved. And so the tears in that piece, I wanted to put it in this piece because Mikhail is also grieved. Kirby's coat was quite a bit of a challenge. It wasn't nearly as challenging as Sundance, but I still struggled getting her coat just right. She has a very uh, splotchy coat, I think is the best way I can describe it. She's got just splashes of gray and beige all the way down her torso. And I decided not to go into too much detail with that because one, I, I did need to get this piece done in time for Mikhail's first episode. But also, I wasn't sure if I could accomplish that with my current art skill because even though I'm sure many of you, and I've been told by many of you that I'm an amazing artist, there's still so much that I have to learn with my program, with my skill level, all of the things that I can do uh, with this program, and just the, like the feathering thing in the fur, for example, I just recently learned that, and I'm still trying to master that in the fur, which, I'm not sure I accomplished in Kirby's coat. I feel like I may have went overboard, but regardless, it still ended up looking beautiful in the end. Yeah, I really struggled with the feathering on this part. Like I said, I still think it turned out good, but it was hard. <laughs> uh, I think it's just because there was so much surface area on her chest region that I wasn't really sure how to feather it and make it look natural. So I kind of winged it a little bit, but oh well. <laughs> I'm still proud of it. I'm especially from where I've come where I wouldn't use feathering at all. And we're coming to the end of the piece, which is very exciting. I was 
very happy to be done with it. <laughs> Not to say that I didn't enjoy it. I just was very happy to be done with it because it had taken two days of work to get this piece just right. And later you will see a background that I actually created for this piece that I was also very proud of at the end of Mikhail's first episode coming up next on my channel. I hope y'all liked this speed paint. If you did, give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already and jingle that bell so you're notified anytime I post a speed paint. Also, don't forget to join Discord. Discord got to see this piece before anybody knew about it on the channel. If you want exclusive sneak peeks of what I'm doing, definitely join Discord. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching and hopefully there'll be a Warrior Cats random gen speed paint very soon. Bye!